Welcome back to yet another video and today we are going through 5 of the most endangered animals in Asia. Keep in mind that this list is in no particular order, so with that said, let's get to it. At number 1 we have the Amur Leopard. Amur Leopards are one of the rarest animals in the world. They are found in areas between the Russian Far East and the Northeast Chinese border. Historically, Amur leopards were found throughout northeastern China, southern Primorsky Krai, and the Korean Peninsula. But since the 1970s, the Amur leopard has lost 80% of its historical range to forest fires, aggressive logging, and agricultural land conversion with no regard for wildlife whatsoever. Poaching working in conjunction with the habitat loss, as Amur leopards are actively poached largely due to the demand of traditional medicine that sees the heavy involvement of leopard bone. This combination of aggressive poaching and extreme habitat loss is why the Amur leopard population sits at only 100 wild individuals, which surprisingly is a positive thing as the Amur leopard population once reached a all-time low of 30 to 40 individuals. Amur leopards are vital to their ecosystem as they are crucial in maintaining the right balance of species in their given environment, which in turn affects the health of the forest and the wider environment. At number 2 we have the smallest of all rhinos, that being the Sumatran rhino. Once being found across Southeast Asia, including the foothills of Bhutan and Northeast India. Now restricted to a fragmented area in the Sumatran and Borneo forest. Currently, there is no more than 80 individuals in the wild, largely due in part to illegal poaching and habitat loss. The Sumatran rhino having suffered rapid declines of over 70% in the last 20 years. Sadly, Sumatran rhinos were declared extinct in the wild mainland of Malaysia in 2015 and in the Malaysian Borneo forest in 2019. The best hope for Sumatran rhinos being intensifying captive breeding efforts, proper management of populations, and continued protection as no Sumatran rhinos are found outside of physically guarded areas. At number 3 we have another Asian rhino that rivals the Sumatran rhino as the most endangered. Japan rhinos are in a pretty heavy situation being tagged with the critically endangered status. It is currently estimated that only about 75 of these animals remain, all of which can be found exclusively in Indonesia's Yujang Kulong National Park in western Java. The status of the Javan rhino, although not being in the clear, is not as grim as the first two animals listed, as the population of the Javan rhino has seemed to stabilize due largely in part to being guarded by rhino protection units. These units seem to be more than efficient in lowering poaching threats, as there has been no recorded poaching incident in Yujang Kulong in more than 20 years. Quite an impressive feat. At number 4 we have the Bornean orangutan, one of three species of orangutan being the only great ape found in Asia. Bornean orangutan are now classified as critically endangered as habitat loss has taken more than 80% of the Borneo forest in the last 20 years. Largely due to the booming palm oil industry, and in low economic countries like Borneo, things as such tend to be largely unregulated. But there may be a slim glimpse of light at the end of the tunnel, as deforestation as of today is slowing down in Borneo, Indonesia, and Malaysia. But at the moment, the deforestation threat is far from over. This in addition to poaching and the illegal pet trade unfortunately continue to ravage the Bornean orangutan population. Only about 100,000 individuals remain and are found in Borneo, which may not seem like a critical situation, but when you start factoring that just a decade ago there were more than 200,000 individuals, you find out that that's a 55% decrease in just 10 years and still projected to decline further to 47,000 individuals by 2025. Experts claiming that the Bornean orangutan will meet extinction in the next 10 years if nothing is changed. At number 5, we have another orangutan species being the neighboring Sumatran orangutan. 
once common throughout all of Sumatra and even in Tujaba. Aggressive deforestation, poaching, and the illegal pet trade are reasons why Sumatran orangutans are now restricted to the northern part of the island. Sumatran orangutan being labeled critically endangered with a population of only about 14,000 individuals, a 60% decline from 1985 to 2007. As mentioned, Sumatran orangutan are endangered due to three reasons listed in conjunction, but primarily because of the palm oil trade, with there now being four times more cultivated land with oil palms than prime orangutan habitat. This does not bode well at all at any level for both the Borneo and Sumatran orangutan, as both species have very low tolerance of habitat disturbance and some orangutan populations not having enough numbers to sustain a community, which means that a plethora of orangutan soft populations are likely to die out in the next coming years. That's going to do it all for today. If you found this video informational, please consider subscribing if you are not yet.